Um, <laughs> you okay there? Everything will be okay. What, what, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, we have a treat here. Um, how about we give this to Rover? I can't remember what the reason I brought it in for. It might have just been an accident, but uh, might as well use it. Oh, that's not. That's okay. Not really what I wanted to do. Now we have to go and get some more dragons. If you don't want to farm phoenixes, this is the easiest way to do it. It's closer. Not, not like that, though. Got it. Oh gosh, the phoenixes are so cute. They look a bit like Pearl. Excuse me! <laughs> hmm, going by that purple chow ball. Definitely a flying type. Which shouldn't surprise me because that is the highest level after all, but uh, things can still change. I'm mad at you. You're gonna run off the edge of the world. Okay, I wasn't quite prepared for that. I think we're getting a... hmm... A dark... Power Chow. No, a dark run! Oh, thank you, Ova. <laughs> and here comes the blue... Oh, look at you! You look so cool! <laughs> okay, I guess I didn't notice. Actually, let's compare them to Grumpo. Maybe Grumpo has changed quite a bit. I just didn't notice. Okay, you guys stay there. Good. Do you look different? Hmm. Oh, that's so adorable. Yeah, I think your spikes... Yeah, your spikes are really short, and they kind of point upwards a bit. So Grandpa really has changed. I wonder who will go next. Will it be Xmas or will it be Snow? Hmm. How rude. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Oh, please go. Please both go at once. That would be amazing. What are you going to be? Oh, they're a Ronchow! Okay, that kind of came in just at the end there. <laughs> well, our first uh, run hero chow. There we are, our first hero run chow. We haven't seen one of those yet. He looks like a little exclamation point. We are just now waiting on snow to become pretty sure uh, a run neutral. Yes! <laughs> Here we go. I don't think I messed it up. I don't think they're a dark type, but uh, even if they were, that wouldn't really matter too much. Um, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> don't know what happened there. The cocoon just randomly disappeared. Like the camera's not even close in enough to have that happen, but uh, uh, there we go. Okay, well you kind of already saw <laughs> what they were already, but yep. There is our neutral run, shiny, sky blue chow. Oh, look at them! Vaporwave baby. Okay, so we have Xmas, oops, uh, and Tree is awake, so we can have them all together as the second half of the... What are you doing? The second half of the... Oop, you're asleep. Okay. Everyone, come over here. Uh, no, tree. Snow. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, you all stay here. Yep, snow is a neutral running type, that's what I figured, and pretty good stats for breeding too, apart from the E fly and E power, but we don't really have to worry about those. Does, we don't have to worry about those. But an S rank in stamina, that is uh, very encouraging. Oh, 
yeah, running type, I was right. So, wow, that is a really extreme difference between Tree and uh, Grumpo. So even though uh, their spines aren't really red yet, I guess it would happen sort of closer to the end of their life, I guess. Um, they do look massively different. They, the Grumpo really is becoming a different kind of running chair. <laughs> you can see Buzzy is now walking around in the neutral garden because I've had to do a bit of movie about with the chow in the save file because we are almost at maximum capacity. You can only have eight chow to a garden. After that, and they may actually just disappear. So I've got to very carefully move everybody around so I can have space for the final generation of the save file. So we currently have, if I'm right, eight chow in the neutral garden. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we do. So we are at full capacity in the neutral garden. I think in the hero garden we have five chow. And in the dark we should have six, I believe. So that leaves enough room to, for us to have the four that are in the kindergarten that were born a bit early, and three more from the black market. Alright, so looking at the Fusions Chow Editor, we have 18 Chow currently, counting the three that are in the kindergarten right now, and we'll be adding the last three through the black market, which brings us to the grand total of the maximum amount of Chow I can have. It's almost like I planned this, I really didn't. So of course, like last time, we'll be rolling a colour generator and seeing which eggs from the block market we'll be getting for the final three chow of the fourth generation. And as before, flippy a coin, so heads, monotone, tail, shiny. So I'm going to roll three colours and those will be the ones we can pick for the black market if they're actually available in the game. If they're not, I'll have to roll it again. So three, two, one. Ooh, orchid, seashell and rosy brown. Well, we can get orchid because that's purple. But we don't have seashell and we don't actually have rosy brown, so let's do another two. Dim grey and lime green. Well, those are boring, but pff, I mean, we already have a lime green chow, but that's what the roll gave us. Okay, it is time to flip a coin. Monotone purple. Okay, let me just <laughs> write all this down. Oh, we get a shiny grey. Okay, that's a little more interesting than neutral grey. And monotone lime green, just like we had before. Oh well, they could still be fun. So, as always, gonna just quickly put this through the Fusion Chow Editor and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, well that's our lime green egg. <laughs> I don't know why we don't have the others yet, but that one is an option, so let's just go and grab this one. Okay, well, let's just hatch this lime green egg and see what happens. Oh, do we have a sad face? Oh god, it's so neutral. Well, that's absolutely adorable. Look at that neutral face. sorted that's all of the gardens at maximum capacity so we already have little lime green chair who hatched early but let's go ahead and take care of those two without disturbing also <laughs> look at this one's face okay what's your face like oh oh wait that's the wrong one. Oh, he's contented he looks so cool Okay. Look, look at that! Look at the shininess, he's like the moon. Okay, we should go and quickly check their stats. Hmm, a name power. We can definitely do something with that. Pretty bad stats otherwise, but we don't really have a lot of power chair in the garden, so uh, that'll be something we should think about evolving them into. Oh my god. The elusive S in fly. I swear I'm not cheating these in any way. I know I have fusion showers are open, but that is just to obtain the eggs. Absolutely nothing has been changed about these. Because I wouldn't cheat in the game, because it wouldn't be worth, you know, working up to a full S rank. But that is exactly what we need. It doesn't actually guarantee that we'll be able to breed for it. Because even though we do have an S rank in run, 
and, oh actually, I think potentially every grade by now. Hmm. There's definitely something in there, but yeah, even though we have one in stamina and now fly and power and run and swim, it's still going to be a lot of work getting that full S rank chow, but we won't be doing that for a while yet. Uh, a day in fly, okay, that's... Hmm. I kind of don't want to make too many fly chow because that would be kind of boring, although a neutral fly for this type of chow would look really cool. So... That is a little tempting. We could also go with power, but I kind of want to have two S-rank flies for breeding potential because that could definitely be coming handy. But uh, I'll think about what to do with this guy, but that is a really good sign. <laughs> Why are you spitting at me? Have a food. So here are the new... Uh, so annoying. So here are the new monotone chow for the fourth generation in the hero garden. And here are the two-tone chow that we're going to be raised as part of the fourth generation in the dark garden. One that we really don't see in the often, so, uh, well, very often, so, uh, that's definitely an excuse to interact with these, uh, poor neglected children of the dark garden. I don't know why I don't come here so much. It is a pretty cool garden. I guess it's just kind of so bleak at times, and uh, even though it's actually the largest, it feels kind of closed in. Honestly, the Dreamcast Garden is so much cooler. There's like a little slope guy up here, and a, a cage, and a little hidden cave, and man. I wish you could replace, uh, I wish you could mod the Dreamcast Garden back into the Steam version. But anyway, uh, so quite a few things happened in this one. We finally evolved the last of the third generation. We brought these babies back out of the kindergarten finally. Whatever they were learning, I think it was flute. They're probably going to be really good at it now. <laughs> oh, we also filmed up every single garden. Uh, so that's definitely an achievement. It only took 21 episodes. <laughs> we definitely have a lot to do within the coming episodes. We'll be raising Chow and we'll be racing Chow because I've not forgotten about the challenge races with Lenny and... Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll continue seeing what we'll do with these guys. They also need names, so of course, as always, any suggestions, just put them in the comments, uh, which specific chow you want to name. And uh, I'm going to call it an episode here. Bye-bye.